so the question always comes up in my mailbox you know why don't you uh, just have a savings account why take the trouble and the time and the risk to stack precious metals why not let the bank do it all for you well before I proceed with that question I want to just talk about the price of precious metals looks like a downward trend has started um, I've noticed this over the last week and I've I was kind of mocked when I said hey I believe the price of precious metals once the states start opening up the price of precious metals should come back down and it's looking like the the spot price is coming down it also looks like although they keep selling out precious metal online retailers seem to get it back in stock a little faster now but yet again those prices have come down a few dollars as well so again I, as more and more states open up I think people are gonna the big heavy hitters that is um, uh, are gonna move out of precious and get into the uh, the paper money again the uh, the stock market and whatnot that's just my opinion, and I believe from from the last week I'm seeing a downward trend, and, and that's a good thing for us people who are stacking precious metals. Um, why take the risk? Why take the trouble, the time, the effort into stacking precious metals when just you could just put your money in a in a savings account and let them take care of all your worries all your problems they'll do it all for you well for one thing I don't buy a car and then need somebody to hold it for me to watch it for me to put it in their garage I am an adult and I could do it myself the only time somebody wants to guard something for you as if they're making money off of you do you buy your wife jewelry only to ask the neighbor down the street to hold it for you why why do you need a bank to hold your money for you I can tell you a hundred reasons why the bank wants to hold the money for you that's to make money off of it. And we've been programmed. Or I should say most of the people have been programmed to put their money in a bank. It's too risky to put it in your home. It might get stolen, you know, the fear mongering. And I'm not saying the chances of it getting stolen uh, haven't uh, increased a little bit. If you're having money in your house, yeah, there is a, a slight risk. But that's where becoming an adult and, and behaving like an adult, mitigating problems, uh, mitigating risk, um, you know, we're adults. I think there's more benefits of holding your own money than there are disadvantages. For one thing, the banks run short on cash. I, there's, I hear stories all the time. I needed a large sum of money and the bank told me I had to either wait, do it in small incremental withdrawals, or I had to I was instructed to go around town to all the other branches and make small incremental withdrawals in order to get my large sum. And then it's reported. Bank decides they're short on money, they can, they can close branches down. And we saw it during this coronavirus where you were not allowed to get into the branch because of the virus and you had to do your banking on the machine teller, the outside uh, machine. But guess what? Again, what is it, a $300 minimum? No, I'm sorry, a $300 maximum daily withdrawal? Providing that the machines are not broken down. 
They seem to always get broken down when you need them the most. The precious metals are in, are in your home. You're guarding it. No one's making money off of you. No one's leeching off of you. They're there in the instant that you need them. The dollar, their preferred method of your income, their preferred mechanism of your savings is constantly losing purchasing power. Purchasing power is the amount of X, Y, and Z that you can purchase. Every year, the amount of X, Y, and Z is going down that you can purchase with a dollar. Yet, as recent events have proven, precious metals went up. Can you say that about the dollar? Did the pandemic cause the dollar to inflate the, the power, the purchasing power of the dollar? Did that increase like gold and silver did? It's actually very rare that the purchasing power of the dollar increases. And if it does, it's just, just pennies. The trajectory of its worth, of its value over the years is decreasing. Yet the precious metals is going in the opposite direction, upwards. You got an X. One's going upwards, one's going downwards over time. Well, when you sell your precious metals, you're just going to have to buy that worthless dollar. I think you're missing the point. I would say to some of those people, your dollar is stagnant in a savings account. You're making what, 0.01% interest rate. Your dollar is losing value faster than the interest is adding to it. Your precious metals are going up. Therefore, after it goes up, if I had to go back to their mechanism of paper money, fiat currency, I can get more. My, my dollar is not stagnant when I'm saving up precious metals. It's actually growing when it's time to sell off. Providing at the time I sell off, precious metals is... Providing that the dollar when I go to sell off is not backed by precious metals. There's a good chance in the future the dollar will be backed by precious metals in the future, believe it or not. But if it isn't, I will have earned extra dollars, is what I'm trying to say. It's not stagnant. The dollar's stagnant, precious metals is going up. Again, we're all adults. You don't need somebody to hold anything you buy. If you need somebody to hold it, perhaps you shouldn't buy it. Whether that be car, jewelry, tools, whatever. And that's the same thing with the dollar. Why? Why have somebody hold it for you? It's out of your control. It's out of your control. If it's not in your possession, they own it technically. 